Hey guys, today we are going to review data and statistics. So let's review some key words and mathematical meanings first. So mean, remember that's just the average of the data. You will add all of the data points together and then divide by however many data points there are. The median is the middle of the data when it is ordered from least to greatest. Mode is the number or numbers that occur the most often. And then range is the difference between the greatest and latest in a set of data. Basically, it is the spread of the data. So the first thing we're going to look at is a bar graph, or sometimes this is called a histogram. It just uses solid bars to represent categorical data. So this first one says students were surveyed to determine their favorite flavors of cookies. The bar graph shows the number of students who selected each flavor of cookie. What percentage of the students surveyed selected sugar as their favorite flavor of cookie? So it looks like 12 people selected sugar as their favorite cookie. I don't know what the total was so that I can set up a percent proportion, so I need to figure that out. So there were 12 people that chose sugar. Looks like 24 people chose chocolate chip. Eight people chose lemon. And then six people right in between four and eight shows oatmeal. So to figure out the total, I'm going to do 12 plus 24, which is 36. And then I'm going to add the lemon, which is 8, and 36 plus 8 is 44. And then I'm going to add the 6 oatmeal, which is 50. So there were 50 total that were surveyed. So 12 out of 50 chose sugar. And now I can set up a percent proportion to figure out how many, what percent out of 100 would choose sugar based on this bar graph. Um, so this one, I'm going to go ahead and solve it as is, even though I could simplify this because I see the relationship. 50 times 2 would get me to 100. So that means 12 times 2 will get me X, which is 24. So that means 24% chose sugar as their favorite. Okay, next we're gonna look at circle graphs. Sometimes these are also called pie graphs. They display part to whole data. Each portion of the circle represents a percentage and the whole circle is 100%. So let's look at number two. It says 500 people were surveyed on their favorite genre of music. The circle graph shows the number of people who selected each genre. Based on the circle graph, how many more people chose rock as their favorite music genre than people who chose jazz? Let's read that again. How many more people chose rock as their favorite music genre than people who chose jazz? So in the pie chart, it tells me that 30% of people chose rock and 5% of people chose jazz. So let's figure out what percentage more chose rock than jazz by subtracting. So that's a 25% are gonna choose rock over jazz, 25%. And I want to know 25% of the 500 people. So I'm gonna set up a percent proportion now. I don't know how many out of 500 but I know that it was 25% out of that 100. Okay, and I see a relationship here. 100 times five would get me to 500. So then 25 times five would get me to X. So that means that X equals 125. So that means that 125 people more prefer rock than jazz. Okay, let's look at dot plots next. So dot plots look like this, where the dots are on a number line and they represent the frequency of the data. So number three says the dot plot shows the number of miles Ian and Mitch ran during several different workouts. Which statement is best supported by the dot plots? So A says the median of Mitch's miles is less than the median of Ivan's miles. So let's go ahead and find the median 
of both of these dot plots. So dot plots are nice because the data is already in order displayed for you. So it's pretty easy to find the median. You just keep crossing off one from either side until you get to the middle. The middle would be between those two, which is three. So the median here is three. Okay, now let's find the median of Mitch's And it looks like the median is going to be between 5 and 6. So the median would be 5.5. So A said the median of Mitch's miles is less than the median of Ivan's miles. That is false. Mitch had a higher median. So let's go to B. B says the mode of Ivan's miles is less than the mode of Mitch's miles. Remember the mode is the number that repeats most often. So Ivan had a mode of three. And it looks like Mitch had a mode of seven. So B said the mode of Ivan's miles which was three is less than the mode of Mitch's miles, which is seven, which that is true. So I think my answer should be B. I'm just gonna confirm by solving for C. So C says the range of Ivan's miles is greater than the range of Mitch's miles. So remember the range is the least minus or the greatest minus the least. So Ivan's range would be six minus one, which is five. So Ivan's range is five, and then Mitch's range would be seven, the greatest minus one, the least, which is six. So C said the range of Ivan's miles is greater than the range of Mitch's miles. That is false, it was the other way around. So B is our answer for that one. All right, last thing we're going to look at is box plot. A box plot displays data using five key numbers. We have our minimum and our maximum values. The middle line is the median. And then on the outside of the box, it displays a quarter one and quarter three. And then Q3 minus Q1 tells us that interquartile range or IQR. So let's look at number four. It says the box plot shows data about the hours that students spend on homework per week. Which statement is best supported by the box plots? So A says that the range of the data from grade 10 is greater than grade nine. So I need to find the range of both of these box plots. It looks like nine has a minimum of one and a maximum of 12. And then grade 10 has a minimum of zero and a maximum of seven. So the range for grade nine would be 12 minus one, which is 11. And then the range for grade 10 would be seven minus zero, which is seven. So A says the range of the data from grade 10 is greater than grade nine. That is false. Grade nine had a larger range. B says the third quartile of the data from grade nine is greater than grade or the third quartile of the data from grade 10 is greater than grade nine. Well, the third quartile for grade nine is at eight and the third quartile for grade 10 is at six. So the third quartile of the data is greater than grade 10. It's greater than grade nine. That is false. Grade nine was greater. Okay, let's look at C. It's talking about the median of the data. So the median of the data from grade 10 is less than grade nine. So grade nine, it looks like it has a median of seven and grade 10, it has a median of five. So the median of the data from grade 10 is less than the data from grade nine. So C is our answer.